Hey YouTube, it's Corinne Fit or Corinne or Corinthia Harris, however you want to call it. You can follow me on Instagram, which I'll put down there. I wanted to hop on here and show you what I get from Trader Joe's or some of the staples that I get from Trader Joe's. Um, it's obviously not everything because I don't always need everything, but I wanted to get on here and show you guys that stuff. So let me do that. Okay, so I just had to put the camera down and get it so that it's stable. So, I apologize I don't have the things laid out in advance, but I'm going to be bending down and digging out of the bag and showing you all the goods that I got. Okay, so the first thing that I got from my, I should clarify and say that I went with my friend Brittany who lives near me, and I'll put her handle down here somewhere too. And we, when we meet up, we go to like Wegmans, we go to Whole Foods, and then we also go to Trader Joe's because they're all like right in the same area. So, I got this from... I believe Whole Foods and it is organic chicken broth and the macros are amazing on it it's zero everything and then only has a little bit of sodium and one gram of protein which is like hard to find um, and I'm gonna use this whether it's in my stuffing or on my turkey or to make like a soup because it is winter and it is chilly so bomb. and then organic ketchup which also has bomb macros only three grams of carbs and two grams of sugar for 17 grams. And then another staple of mine is cooking spray. And then these dill pickles from Trader Joe's, I must say, are amazing. And they give you an amazing pickle pump, which shout out to my friend Zoe because that's where I got the idea from. So if you want an amazing pump during your, your workout, eat this before you go to the gym. And then also, I haven't tried this yet, but I've heard really, really great things about it. It's the Trader Joe's peanut butter spread. I just love peanut butter. Like, love it. Really love it. And then, also to, I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. Also, to continue the, oh, the lighting on this is weird, sorry. Uh, to continue the holiday type Thanksgiving stuff is this cornbread stuffing mix, which has 2 grams of fat and 13 carbs for 29 grams and a serving size, which is amazing. So if you want like a healthy dish to bring to your family Thanksgiving or whatever, get this from Trader Joe's. And then also, continuing that tradition is their turkey gravy. Also has amazing macros. Lauren Connell and I actually put this on her channel the other day, which I thought was awesome because I literally bought it like the day before. So yeah, shout out to my girl. Um, it has 0.5 grams of fat and two carbs for 60 grams. That is a lot of gravy and I'm definitely going to be bringing this to my family's house. Sorry guys. And that gravy is from Trader Joe's. And then also their organic mustard. Love this stuff. I put mustard on like everything. And then also the low sodium better and butter. I like using this um, when I need, ow, the grocery bag just fell on my foot. So I like using this when I need like lower fat but higher carb pre-workout and I want peanut butter. And then I also got Trader Joe's uh, turkey broth, um, which again has one carb and nine grams of protein. So I'm definitely going to be making some soups with this for the winter time. And then also everything bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. I haven't tried this yet, but a lot of people really like it. So I'm excited to try it. And then I also got this from Wegmans. It's the flat out spread pizza crust. Like, I don't even think I have the words to tell you how good this makes homemade macro friendly pizzas and how it makes them taste. Shout out to my girl Kayla for introducing me to this specific one because I used to only use wraps and wraps just didn't do the pizza justice. These though, these get it. And then that's kind of it for what I got from Trader Joe's. The other stuff is in the fridge, but I also got their pre-cut um, butternut squash 
fries and I put I made them the other night and put some cinnamon on them and they were amazing so definitely try those and then I also got their pre-cut and already pre-noodled uh, zucchini squash so like zoodles and I also got their lean ground beef and then I also got their um, chicken tenders to make chicken with so that was it from Trader Joe's and then also um, continuing like the Whole Foods and Wegman stuff the rest of the stuff I think that I'm about to pull out of the bag is from um, Wegmans. So I got Maranatha's almond butter, staple. And then I also got these, I love these wraps. You get a whole wrap for two grams of fat, 65 sodium, 12 grams of carb, seven fiber, and five grams of protein. So that's amazing. It just touches my soul. And then I got these rice cakes, which are actually like a little bit higher in carbs than I like, but they are amazing in flavor and they're organic. So I love eating these when I can. Um, and since I'm reverse dieting right now, it's a lot easier to fit things in like that. And it will be a lot easier to fit things in like that as my calories continue to go up. So salted caramel flavor, yummy. And kettle porn, which is amazing to like break up and put in Ziploc bags when you're going to the movies. And then I also got this tea, which I haven't actually tried yet, but I will be sure to let you guys know how it is. The camera is focusing really loudly on that, sorry. Um, but it's sugar cookie sleigh ride, and it just, like holiday season, just sounds amazing. And other things I forgot to say that were also in the fridge that I got were an almond milk eggnog, which only had like 8 grams of carbs. I got that from Trader Joe's, so I'm excited to be able to have that during Christmas time without wasting a ton of carbs on my family's eggnog. No offense, you guys, if you're watching this video. Um, but then I also got a pumpkin spice eggnog with also made with almond milk from Wegmans, and that one I think had 9 grams of carbs and like 0.5 fat for like a whole glass of it. So I'm excited to try those, and I would definitely let you know how they are when I do. Um, but yeah, I hope that this video was informative. I hope that you liked seeing some of the things that I get from Trader Joe's. Those aren't all of my staples, but they're definitely a lot of the items that I continually pick up from there when I run out. Um, and then if you have a Wegmans near you, I definitely suggest checking it out. All right, you guys, um, I wanted to show you really quickly uh, my go-to oats recipe. I was originally going to record like the process of making it and everything, but my kitchen's a mess right now, so this will have to do. Um, right now, I am obsessed with uh, doing oatmeal and cauliflower and egg whites mixed in because it creates a lot of volume. And then I love doing a fried egg over it and peanut butter and blueberries. And I believe right now in this bowl I have. grams of oats um, from Trader Joe's and then I have uh, four to six grams of egg whites 42 grams of cauliflower rice and that's all mixed in and microwaves and all that stuff um, and then I have 20 grams of peanut butter 60 grams of blueberries and one fried egg so let me know if you want a video on how I actually go about making this and or just let me know if you try this I love it and love how voluminous my oats are and it just like makes me so much fuller. As you can see, I am a savage and forgot to tell you guys what the macros are for this bowl. Um, so I'll try to put my fitness pal up on the screen so you can see it or I'll just tell you it's roughly I believe 40 grams of carbs, 17 fat and 22 grams of protein if I'm remembering correctly but yeah I meant to do that in the last clip and I just forgot and started to devour this bowl so anyway hope you enjoyed my video I hope that this was informative I hope that you like watching my awkwardness and how I get excited about groceries and I hope that you give it a thumbs up if you liked it and would like to see other grocery hauls that I do from regular grocery stores just to see what I eat on a regular basis um, or if you want to see question and answer video, full day of eating, some workouts, some cardio ideas, um, you name it, some more show day stuff, you let me know. 
Uh, but yes, feel free to give them so much for watching. I hope that you continue to watch, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe so that way you don't miss anything that I share on my channel. And also go follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Thanks, you guys.